Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some more Project Hospital. Nancy Adams leveled up. Congratulations, Nancy. Um, we're going to today build our general surgery um, emergency hospitalization department. Uh, that's a, a task that we have to do for one of these guys, um, which will give us a, a bit of income and, and a reward also. Um, we also need to get another cleaner in. I think we're a couple of cleaners in because there's no one over here doing any work. Um, there we go. That's our hiring process. We don't care what their what their previous history was. We don't do any checks on them. We just get them in, right? So we're gonna we're gonna expand our hospital out over here um, into a uh, a general sort of hospitalization area for it. First things first, we want some foundations, and I think we're gonna expand our foundation down here like so. Okay, I know it looks like a bit of a donger, but it's fine. Right, let's have a think about what we need. We need, um, coming back over here, an on-call room, which is four by four. The bigger we make it, the better, I think, for the number of people that we need. Um, we could go through these and do one at a time. I think we'll put our ward down here and everything else we'll put sort of this side, I think. So if we go into foundations again and build our foundation all the way along here and we'll go into ward and we'll build all the way along here so i think all of this area will end up being uh general hospital we're going to have a corridor that comes straight down the middle here so let's do that first okay right and then we want an on-call room which doesn't need to be huge but it does need to be by four so we could do something like this uh, we need a nurse's station which is exactly the same thing so that could be like this um, and then we what do we want we want diagnostic units four by four so let's do something like Do something like that. I don't know how many we're going to need. And then we want a regular ward. I'm tempted to say this is the regular ward. It's pretty big. Um, what have we got next? An HDU. Yeah, and what are they? I don't know what these rooms are. Um, then we need a cardiology unit and a sonography unit. So I think the same things. It's going to be so expensive, this. Okay, foundations. Something like this. Um, in fact, I probably want to make it at least one bigger. So we've got a corridor coming down here. I'm not sure how I feel about these one by one corridors, but kind of these are just for for the nurses and that to come down, I think. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but oops, you need to go that way. Oh no! Can I undo? I can't. Rubbish. Okay. Um, what rooms were these? That was these rooms, right? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about having these as, as like one by one little corridors, but I guess that'll do. Um, regular ward, we're going to expand you out this way a little bit. There you go. Okay. I want to remove this. And I want to build a wall around all of this. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. Perfect. It's 
but we could have a little cut through down here as well it's not great but we could have a little cut through here as well okay um a lot of rooms we're building the other argument is the nurses and doctor stations probably don't need a wall between them they could just have um separate parts of the same room i'd guess okay so we want one of you up over here to here okay let's spin this round and let's just finish off the rest of these walls because it is infuriating um was it this one is this the one i was using i think it was yeah, perfect. Spent a lot of money on foundations already. Okay. Look how dirty that corridor is. Jeez, this is meant to be a hospital. You filthy animals. We're almost there, I promise. Right, you can come this way. You can come down here. You can come down here. I will do the outside, but I'll do it I'll do it later. I I say that every time and never come back to doing it. I think we're good, right, okay. But let's have a think about what we need in here. We need some doors. Um, okay, so we'll have something like that. Do I need large doors on these? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. We're going to have them anyway, just in case. Okay, good. Right. Need some floors. I can do that. And even though this floor is already a mess down here. Um, you know, I didn't build a, like a, a visitation room. I need to do that. I could cut some of this off and have like a visitation room or I could just build more foundation out here. Um... really want to do this but fine is that one of the reasons i don't want to do this is i'm gonna to have to do the walls again um but fine cross here cross here down here cross here flooring we'll get some wooden floor in here for visitation why not um and then a door Oh, look at all the doors. I've picked the wrong... Oh, well, never mind. The doors don't match, all right? You're just going to have to accept that for now. I think we're going to run out of money here. I'm kind of cutting a few corners here for now. There we go. Okay. Right. What do we need? We can set up one of these rooms at, at the very least. So let's get a couple of desks in here with a couple of PCs. We'll get the cheap ones. And a couple of chairs. And a printer. Okay. Next room. Same thing. Couple of desks. Couple of stretches. Couple of PCs. Couple of those. Equipment cabinet. And then some meal trays. Okay, next. Exam table. A 
erwähnen. Sink over there. Um, I guess uh, an equipment table or two over here. Dialysis machine. Eye test. Yo, medical light. One of these. And a mobile workstation. Does it go here? I'm not sure if that's what it's telling me to do. Um, I've got an exam table. Why do I need another one? Missing equipment. What's missing? What is a whiteboard? Do I need a whiteboard in here? Really? No, I don't need a whiteboard. What are you talking about? A stretcher. I test this thing is in the way. I don't need a stretcher. Don't, don't give me that. Missing equipment. Are you now telling me there's not missing equipment? Missing equipment. Exam table. Can I delete you? I'm so confused. All right, let's spin the camera around, see if we can see what's going on here. Is it because the dialysis machine isn't in the right place? Look how much money we've got left. It's a joke. Right. Why are hospitals so expensive? Okay, let's move you out of the way for now. Is that, is that better? I don't know if that's better. I'm not sure that's better. Missing equipment. What am I missing out of this room? Examination light. Ah. You can't use a white ball, but you don't need it. Hello? This is still telling me it's got missing equipment and I don't know why. If I was to go into the building mode and prefabs. Let's try and move all this stuff out of the way, right? I don't think we need a stretcher and I don't think we need a whiteboard. Let's, um, Let's put some of these things in this room and see how we get on, right? If I was to put you there, right? And then you go there. Is it telling me it goes here? I don't... You can go there. You can go in the corner of the room. Little bin down here. You can go there. I don't need you, so let's get rid of you. And I don't need you, so let's get rid of you. Let's get back on this. We do need an eye test, so let's put that there. And we need a... Okay, that worked. Fine, so I was clearly blocking something with something else, but that worked. Okay, let's move on to this one. What do we need? A hospital bed. Bedside cabinet, a defibrillator, um, bed socket, a life monitor. That's that room done, right? Okay, what about this room? Oh, 
oh god, we're so running out of money. Okay, let's put you in the middle here. You have to go there. Let's get the old biohazard bin in the corner. Put you over here. Sink. I can put you in the corner there. A medical light. I can put you up there. Lovely. Uh, we need a computer. Why do we need a computer? Okay, fine. This doesn't feel like the right option. It feels like it's going to be in the way. Um... I put a computer on here. Oh, but then I need a printer anyway. So let's um let's get a desk in. Fine, you win, you win. Oh, there's no way we're going to be able to afford this. What else do you need? Paper holder? No. Let's give you a printer. One of these things. over here right with one of these on that's telling me that things still don't still don't work okay let's try this again moving these out of the way a little bit oh hold on Get rid of you. Let's bring you back. What am I missing? Uh, an equipment cabinet. I can definitely put one of those in. I'm still missing something else. There's something odd about these examination tables, right? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think it, maybe it's not, oh god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Maybe there's not something odd about these examination tables, it's just what I'm doing with them. So there's way around that room now, so if I put you here, and then put you over here, oh, can I put this on top of that? No. So I have to have Put that there. Let's get rid of this. Let's put you down here. And let's put you on top of it. How are you still telling me you need other stuff? What is wrong? understand what's wrong with this <laughs> or what's wrong with me more importantly i suppose missing equipment so is there something missing from this specifically you're still talking about an examination bed i don't know why but you're still talking about an examination bed so everyone can get to this bed right from here As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing missing from this room that shouldn't be working. I'm sure there is, but I don't know what it is. Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's try and do this this way. So, sonography unit. Let's put you over here. Let's go and have a look at the prefab. I 
could extend this out by one. But what is what is that I'm missing? Okay, let's try all this again. So you want a you want a bed. You've got your bed and you've got your light. Okay. But this is telling me magic room for this. So we've got one of these and you've got one of these. Right, so why is this telling me that this isn't ready? There's something else that needs to go with this? Ah! Ah! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! What else am I missing? A sink? You can go in the corner here somewhere maybe? And we're done. No, missing stuff. We're done, everybody. Holy crap. That was harder work than it needed to be. Right, let's clear out this room. And let's make you... What was the one room we were missing? Cardiology. Still got to do the regular wall. We're down to 10k. This is not looking good. We might have a ward with just one person in. So you need this as well. I don't, I don't want to put you in that room. <laughs> in all honesty. Right, let's get one of these in here. You over here. One of you above this. Oh my god, we're so close to being broke. You want to go there, apparently. Okay. We good? We good. So we're missing something in the ward. Um, I wonder if I can steal it from this other ward that we've got over here. I think we probably can. So let's take a couple of beds out from over here. We're just going to steal stuff for now. So what we need is a defibrillator. Which is far cheaper than I thought it would be. the one patient bed. We'll steal another one. I know this is this doesn't look great, but this is where we are, all right? I still haven't done the um the visitation stuff. There, okay, good. What do we need in this room? If I was to go back to this and say lounge, we need a visitor's seat. Well, this is just like being in hospital. Oh, sorry, in prison. That's it for now, right? We'll deal with the rest as we go. Um, let's speed this up. That took a long while just to try and get this sorted. We're going to go straight to the morning. We'll have a day. We'll see if we make any money. And then maybe we'll uh, we'll hire some staff for the hospital. Uh, so the general part of the, the hospital. But that was hard work. Okay. And there are some people on holiday. So um, everyone got drunk last night. Jessica Brown is not going to feel so good. Patient numbers and insurance are back to normal. Okay. Do I want to steal another bed from over here? I think we'll hold on for now. We've got a lot of staff to hire as well. And we need to finish off some of these walls. Um, but for now, let's just stick with what we've got.
this is annoying me a little bit. So let's let's do the important stuff first. Um, okay, good. This is this is a nightmare. Is this a different color one as well? Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In fact, I think the whole ward is the wrong color, right? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, now you work. Unbelievable. Okay, right. I'm not. I think this this is different color to everything else, but it's fine. All right, just don't focus on that for the time being. Let's um, let's get through to start time, and we'll do a we'll do a few diagnoses today. Just see how we get on. Um, and then we'll open up our. Our hospitalization of general surgery. I mean, I guess the sooner we do it, the sooner we get some uh, some money in, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, here comes everybody. Patients are on their way in. Uh, what's wrong? We haven't got doctor surgery. Yeah, we know, we know. It's going to be really expensive and we can only treat a handful of people. I think I probably do need to move some more of these beds. It's going to be so expensive. I guess I could have spread these beds out a little bit, right? Okay. We're in the we're in debt at this moment in time. But here come the patients, right? Here comes the cash cows. Oh, this I don't like. No. No, no money, I guess. Okay. Here they come, look. Let's milk them for all they're worth right now. Still got to buy free ambulances. It's going to cost an arm and a leg. Doctor rating, 82%. I better be better than Jane Bloody Foster. I'm telling you that. So, yeah, right. 66%. You should be at 50. What? Jesus. Let's get our first patient in. Come on. Which one have we got? We got this one who's walking really quickly. We have a rash on his arm. Okay. Um, do a physical. Let's do a physical exam. Let's do the skin allergy test. Yes. Come on then. What have we got? Itchy eyes. Oh my God. There's one hidden symptom. Is this going to show us what the symptom is, I wonder? Allergen detected. Nice. Okay. Antihistamines it is for you, my... Oh, antihistamines it is for you, my friend. Out you go, Richard Wright. Job done. You can get the F out of here. Yeah, go get some more medication as well. We'll take your money there as well. Great. We're making money, everybody. We've got a new patient. We'll do this one as well. What's wrong? Bruise, arm injury. Is everything okay? Um, upper x-ray, I guess. There's no there's no other choice here, is there? Send her for an x-ray. We'll wait for the next person to come to us as well. We're flying through these, though. Look at us. What a doctor we are. A couple of people waiting for x-rays. Uh, what's wrong with you, Joseph Thomas? Numbing ointment it is. You can go home, mate. We're waiting for this lady to have her arm x-rayed and then we can tell her if it's broken or not. Oh, 
Okay, next up, Carol Taylor. She goes for a wee a lot. We're going to examine your wee. Um, before we do that, let's do let's do some normal stuff. We'll get some tests underway just to check some stuff, and then we'll have your wee looked at. Nice, Jane. Fo Whoa, Jane Foster. How are you leveling up before Scott Dog? Okay. Poking around a tummy. There's no other oh, abdominal pain. Okay. Okay. We've done a temperature. Let's um. Let's do a couple of tests: a biopsy and a urine a urine sample. Um, she's heading off. She's heading off this way, right? Well, she's going to the toilet. You should probably hold on, considering what you go and need you need to have done. Oh, you went and did it in the loo. Is that what happened? What are we doing now? Constantly making her take her clothes off. Okay, she's off. She's going to sit down and we're going to have some results coming in. We should probably... Did I hire someone over here? I did hire someone. The computer's on. Um, we should probably keep an eye on how busy it gets over here. They're all watching YouTube. Carol Brown, um, what happened with you? Oh, you've got... We'll do that, but we're most likely sending you for an x-ray, I'd imagine. Unless we get some obvious symptoms here. Yeah, off you go for your x-ray. You're waiting for your samples to come back. Oh, here we go. He's going to put them in the fridge for later. Okay, Carol Brown. You're underway. You, what was happening with you? Okay, you might have tonsillitis. Uh, we'll do your check your neck. Um, and your oral cavities. And then we'll send you away. Look how much money we're making. Jeez, nine grand we made today. But bear in mind, we've still got to hire 7,000 staff. Are we anywhere near a distinguishing what's wrong with you? Doesn't look like it. Viral tonsillitis. Go home. Disappointing, we can't charge you for that. 85% rating. Come on, Scott Dog. You can be the best damn doctor this, do this hospital has ever seen. Um, let's send you home. We forgot to send her home. Not the best doctor. Go on, get some rest, love. Who's next? This is um, Thomas Baker. He has something wrong with his arm. Let's do a physical examination. Can only move it a certain amount. Poor old Thomas. Okay. X-ray it is, buddy. X-ray it is. We're on a break. We haven't got many doctors in the in the training room. We should probably look at that. So you're getting your X-ray done. You, my friend, Thomas Cole. Well, we've, I mean, we've literally diagnosed it from just talking to you. Um, but I'm going to give you a physical examination and a speech listening exam just in case. See if we can uncover the rest of those, uh, the rest of those symptoms. And you've got an arm contusion. We'll give you some numbing ointment and send you home once you're done. Okay, we got one of them. I guess that's good enough. We'll get you doing some exercise. We'll send you home. Jobs are good. And we've almost finished today. We've seen 41 patients. We need some more. Where are the others? There you go. You can go home, mate. 43 patients. You got your results. 44 patients. There's one more left. We did it, everybody. Beautiful. 
So we can now hire some people. We can also get some beds and some other things in here and make this maybe not a ridiculous, a ridiculous empty ward. Um, but I guess hiring the staff is the most important thing to see what kind of number of people we get here. I guess the other thing that worries me a little bit is if they come in this way, how do they get over here? The long old walk. We could move this nurse's station up a bit and then have this corridor continue. That might not be the worst shout. But I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to hire our general staff. We'll go through all that that process for the uh, for the hospitalization. That means we'll open another uh, area up. There was one patient waiting. God damn it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.